Did you say glide? Okay, so just a little update. Um, it's harder to film the stuff that I've been doing with her because it's a lot of, no, nope, sorry, a lot of movement. Um, and I don't have enough hands. So I'm going to keep this as brief as possible and save the more detailed stuff for our lesson together. Um, but I switched her over to a prong collar. I did this because she just was really unresponsive to slip lead any time we went into an environment where there was even the slightest bit more distractions and competing motivators because she's just super, super excitable. So the reason that I use a prong collar is because it offers just a little bit more of a level of discomfort that she's willing to respond to in the moment. So I don't mean pain or anything like that. I just want it to be annoying enough to where she wants to turn it off right away. Um, whereas like the slip lead and flat collars and harnesses, all of those things, she's willing to deal with a lot of pressure for an extended period of time. So the communication just, it's just not always there. So I really want to make it a point to help her understand pressure and le release because she could become desensitized to the prong collar if it's not used appropriately. So the caveat to the prong collar is being mindful of how much pressure you apply when you apply it when you take the pressure off all of those things. So I want her to understand that when she feels tension, like right now, click, when she moves into it, hey girl, it comes off. And then we switch to reward. So good. If I hadn't I've had my phone in my hand, when she turned into me, come on, good. I would have rewarded her with, sorry, I'm dropping stuff. I would have rewarded her with food, but I just, again, I don't have enough hands, so I'm just using praise. I know that's a scary thing. Come on. Good girl. I'm using praise for now because that's a, he's more easily accessible. Come on. Good. Um, so we're just out walking and I'm letting her explore things. Um, when she starts to get fixated on something, like she wants to go sniff that. Yay, good girl. I'll just kind of cheerlead her out of it with a little bit of pressure, making sure that as soon as she moves into that pressure, I embellish the release of the leash. Come on. Good. Yeah, 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 good girl. Yes. To help her understand that that's how to turn the pressure off. Because dogs, they just naturally resist pressure. Come on. Good girl. So she's really distracted right now. There's I've never been over here. So she's sniffing all the grass and all that good stuff. I hear a little pressure. Good girl. Um, but I really want to create a more neutral response to the environment. I don't want to let her stop and sniff every little thing. And it's not that I don't want her to explore stuff, but to an extent, I want her to find me more valuable. And I'll save the sniffing stuff like right now. Hey, sit. Good. Okay. Now I'll let her go do it because I told her she could. It's not to be an over controlling person. It's just I want her to understand the picture of what walking with me looks like. It doesn't mean you get to leave and go do your own thing all the time. And I want to save those moments as a reward for her. So her neutral release will be okay, meaning she can go do what she wants to. So I want to make it a point to let her go do what she wants to. Wait there. Um, her confidence has grown a lot. She's not freaking out about every little thing anymore. Um, she's doing great out in the yards. She's moving about pretty nicely around uh, like all the guys at the shop. Um, they always give her lots of attention and stuff. So now that she's gotten over her little fear hump when we walk around them, um, I do a lot of like moving back and forth. When she looks at them, I call her name and I run backwards a little bit and let her take food out of my hand just so that she sees them and doesn't find them to be scary. But I don't want her to find too much uh, I don't want her to find too much value in them because then that's going to cause her to check out for me, blow me off, and want to go socialize with them, which is, as we know, already a problem because she's so motivated by everything. What is it? It's a truck. Yeah, good girl. Um, she's doing really nicely. I would keep up with the, what I was talking about in the original video. Leia, good girl. Hi. Um, strengthening that yes marker every time she sees things. Yes and let her chase after you to take her reinforcement. I want her to find you to be super, super valuable. And then once she's got her leash walking a little bit more fine tuned, we can play around with mechanics of the leash, um, how she should be walking, all of those good things. All right, come on. Good girl.